Boys and girls, yesterday I taught you that a nonfiction author's job is to help us learn something new. I read several pages in my Prairie Dog book and I let you know which information was new, the information that I learned. Today, I am going to teach you something else that nonfiction authors do. Authors get to make lots of decisions about what goes into a book. The first decision they make is what the book will be about or the topic of the book. They choose the topic and then teach us all about that topic. They even use the topic to write the title of the book. Let me show you what I mean. In this book, the title says, A Prairie Dog's Life. This tells me that this book is going to be all about prairie dogs and how they live. The next title says, All About Earthworms. So in this story, I'm going to find out more about these earthworms. Let's take a look at this next cover. On this cover, I see a baseball player. He's hitting a ball and the title is baseball. So in this book, I know that I'm going to learn all about how to play baseball. Now I want you to look at some pictures. As you are looking at the pictures, think about what these pictures are teaching us. If these pictures were in a book, what could the title of the book be? So in this picture, or these group of pictures, I see animals that might be in a zoo. I'm noticing a cage in the back and I'm noticing a crate here. So I think that this book might be about animals in the zoo. All of these pictures have different kinds of birds. Birds that are colorful, birds with different beaks, different kinds of birds. So I think this title might be different kinds of birds. And finally, in this group of pictures, I see things from long ago. I see old fashioned vehicles. I see people dressed in old time clothing. I think this is going to be a book about the way people lived long ago. Boys and girls, today and every day when you are reading nonfiction books, think about the topic of the book and the author's job in creating the book.